Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Now we will discuss in more details births at home. What other evidence is out there? Let's see some other evidence available in case you want to have other points of view. What other studies say about giving birth at home compared to giving birth at the hospital? The first point we should bear in mind is that perinatal mortality is different from one place to another. It varies in each country depending on several factors, including the healthcare system. The second thing I want to emphasize is the differences in terms of the different periods of the baby that the studies measure. Remember that the perinatal period runs from the 28th week of gestation to day seven after birth. Meanwhile, the neonatal period is the period from birth to the 28th day of life, that is, the first month. Perinatal mortality and neonatal mortality therefore measure different periods of time. The former from before birth to the first week of the baby's life, and the latter from birth to the first month. According to the World Health Organization, the most vulnerable period for babies is the first month of life, thus the neonatal period. In 2020, almost half of all deaths of children under five years of age occurred in the first month of life. To focus now on Europe, there is the Peristat Network, where 24 European Union member states and Iceland, Norway, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom contributed data on nine Euro Peristat core indicators for the five years from 2015 to 2019. In this report, we can see that the country with the highest neonatal mortality is Malta, followed by Northern Ireland. Third place is occupied by the Netherlands and Croatia. So, are there more studies assessing neonatal deaths at home and in the hospital setting? Yes, there are quite a few more studies on this topic mainly from groups in the Netherlands, in which they state that the difference in newborn mortality is not statistically significant between infant deaths occurring in hospital and deaths occurring at home among low-risk pregnancies. Here, I would like to raise a question. Does it make sense to look for a statistically significant difference when a death is preventable, avoidable? That is, in medicine, we conduct statistical tests to say that a treatment or intervention has an effect, or not. But in this case, the death of a human being could be avoided in a hospital because, among other things, one has immediate access to oxygen, a venous line to administer medication, and an ICU or operating theater. We have no doubt that pregnancy is not a disease, nor is a pregnant woman a sick woman. But it is a moment of greater vulnerability and risk of death for the baby, as we commented before, but also for the mother. Being in a hospital gives one at least the possibility of being close to life-saving treatment. In the Dutch maternity care system, where up to one-fifth of women give birth at home, around 20% of all women in labor planning a home birth will be transferred to the hospital. And in the case of nulliparous women, the transferring will reach up to 40%. Nulliparous women are those who have not previously had a baby, and it has been reported that they can present a greater risk of complications during labor. Other studies in England conclude that neonatal deaths are higher at home than in hospital. Nonetheless, it is often said that mortality depends on whether the health system offers more extensive services to women who want to give birth at home, and also on the presence of a skilled birth attendant. Whatever the reason, the fact is that one of the countries with the highest number of home births the Netherlands, has one of the highest perinatal mortalities in Europe. This is no longer a question about comparing groups of women who want to give birth at home or who want to give birth in hospital. The Netherlands has a higher mortality rate than countries such as Italy, Spain, France, 
Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Finland, Germany, and Austria, among others. While giving birth at home might be a more intimate and special experience, the devastating events that can occur with regard to the death or long-term health of a baby are life-changing. More effort must be invested in improving hospital childbirth care and providing adequate staffing and resources to make this unforgettable moment as comfortable as it can be at home and as safe as it can be in a hospital. Stay healthy and monitor your baby. Thanks for watching.